There's that really cool purple stuff in the caves, all these shades of blue. I have to get in here, look at it, it's beautiful. I'm holding on. We're literally touching the water. Whoa, whoa. After making some good friends in Argostolia last episode, our 80-day voyage continues, leaving our final Catalonian destination of Poros en route to the stunning Zakynthos, where hands-on sailing, underwater ventures, and 50 shades of blue await us. If you're new here, we are Martin, Sharon, and Taylor. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, a Greek sun odyssey around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our Odyssey, hit the like and subscribe button now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. A warm morning upon us, we decided to make the most of our last few hours in Poros before heading off. Venturing up the hill and behind the cave bar, we stumbled upon a rare shallow sandy bay, cooling off and spending some time in nature, taking in this beautiful little corner of the world. Oh, that was fresh, fresh and refreshing. And then the ferry came in and they got, I got some free waves. Look at you! Just making a frequent appearance. Feel much much better it's a lovely swim in the water solves everything let's get going then shall we leaving to our next destination Argios Nikolaos on the island of Zakynthos so right now we are leaving Poros heading across to Zakynthos a new island head cam as you can see we had all our fenders a certain way for our alongside there's no wind today compared to yesterday is there not a single lick of it now watch the boom yeah yeah okay it's very crisp. So I would slip that rope first. Yep. Yeah. Steve, you're leaving without me. Bye, Boros. <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> oh, glass bottom boat. That's cool. And a little bit terrifying. Oh, bubbles, something big down there. All right, let's get out of here and then we'll talk. Thanks, Andrew. It's a lot less hazy today. I wonder if we'll get a swim it's in. very pretty. Ooh. Very nice and breezy out here, eating my hair. It's a bit cold, would you like a jumper? It's a little bit cold, I might get a fleece in a minute. Yeah, I'll get it for you, yeah? Fresh breeze. Fresh breeze. Currently just rounding the reef around Scala here. It's quite shallow, quite dangerous. You can see there's a bit of a swell building up because the water is shallow. We're in about 17 meters at the moment. And uh, out in the distance, we can see the waves are breaking, cresting. So the, the wind is stiffening up out there. Once we're out of the land's protection, the wind picks up dramatically, transforming our leisurely sail into a much more exhilarating experience. With both sails fully out, the crew rides the strong northwesterly winds, making an impressive average speed of 9 knots, feeling the power of Trinity as she begins healing over. This strong speed creates challenges, but the crew's experience shines through as they begin to adapt, or at least try to, the powerful conditions. Let's check in. Look at the state of me. Hey, look at I'm this. holding the laptop. 
<laughs> wow. I'm not built for this. I'm built for a dip in the pool, a trip to the spa. All right, we're in the drink. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Sea water comes back. Add some sea spray. My tears have reached the ceiling. Looking forward to anchoring. <laughs> There'll be a whole lot less of this. After a thrilling sail, we approached the town quay where we successfully moored Trinity. Named Agios Nicolaus Harbour, this spot is 22 metres in length and houses 15 berths, with depths up to 5 metres down to a sandy bottom with fair holding. Now, Zakynthos, also known as Xanthi, is a picturesque island located in the Ionian Sea, west of mainland Greece. Known for its dramatic limestone cliffs, lush olive-covered plains and pristine beaches, with the interplay of sunlight, white sand and limestone, strike shimmering shades of blue throughout the coastline. Our destination of Agios Nicolaus town is on to Kynthos' northeast coast. Mythologically speaking, the island's name itself is rooted in legend. Named after Zikynthos, son of Arcadian chief Dardanus, who was believed to have founded a city here. With a mix of natural beauty and mythological allure, Zikynthos continues to enchant visitors from around the world, you and I included. So enchanted, in fact, that it's time for us to sleep it off. Catch up then. The next morning we woke up and were feeling like going on an adventure and one that we of course could bring you guys on as well. I wonder what it is. Let's check in. We're heading off to the Blue Caves this morning. Yeah, I believe the trip's around an hour or so in length and I believe we go just around this cape up here, just around the edge and there's quite a few different Blue Caves um, and we should be getting in for a swim and get some really beautiful shots. I don't know exactly how long it will be but from the beautiful clear water here or at the town quay I can only assume that the, the world-renowned blue caves will be even bluer so super excited and yeah we'll see you guys over there The Blue Caves of Zikynthos are one of the island's most mesmerizing attractions. Located along the rugged northwest coast near the village of Agios Nicolaos, these stunning sea caves were formed over centuries by the relentless action of Greek waves eroding the white limestone cliffs, resulting in these intricate arches and caverns. The caves get their name from the brilliant blue hues of the water, a phenomenon caused by sunlight reflecting off the limestone seabed and illuminating the caverns in multiple glowing shades of blue. It's a breathtaking luminous spectacle that marine life also thrives in, making the caves a paradise for snorkelers, swimmers and divers alike. Species like the playful saddleback sea bream also frequent the area. Weaving through the underwater nooks and crannies, you might spot octopuses, eels and a variety of vibrant fish that call this habitat home. Above water, the caves are also a haven for seabirds and are bordered by palatial cliffs that truly add to the scenery. In terms of mythology, some say that these caves were once considered a sacred retreat for sea nymphs or nereids who are believed to inhabit the crannies of Greek waters. Visiting the Blue Caves is more than just a visual experience. It feels like stepping into an ancient world where nature and myth beautifully collide, drawing thousands each year to bask in the beauty of this unique natural wonder. We just arrived back 
That was lovely. Um, I'm really glad I got in for a swim. I was honestly a little bit apprehensive because of the cold, but I have to get in here. Look at it, it's beautiful. And there was so many fish, so many saddleback sea bream absolutely everywhere. So I swam all the way over, <laughs> like this, yeah, very um, aerodynamic or hydrodynamic, I don't know, and took us some cool fishy shots. So that was really nice. It was actually, it was really good value, really good value. I think it was 15 euro per adult for an hour and a bit. We went to many caves, like I think maybe, Pen. There's that really cool purple stuff in the caves, like coral underneath, all these shades of blue, and there's a stalacite cave as well that we could have swam to, but it was a bit too far. Oh, I hope you enjoyed as much as we did. After another hands-on explorative day with much learned in the midst, we head off to bed, ready for our final full day in Sikinthos tomorrow. we saw the other day. But the bumpy ride here was definitely uh, worth it. It's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. After a couple of windy sailing days on and off Trinity, we opted for a more relaxing day exploring on land. We mostly admire the shades of blue and green the town has to offer, so much so that we couldn't help ourselves but go for a dip, myself in particular, spending most of the afternoon floating above water on a serene pebbled shore just left of the town key. Some well-deserved downtime after the journey that has truly begun unfolding. You look awfully pleased, look at you. So we'll just sit and have our drink. While the crew finish off their drink, let's follow suit with the end of this week's adventure. With high winds ridden, blue caves dove in, and acquaintances made with all 50 shades of blue, we are left both satisfied and mystified by our stop in Zikinthos. Join us next week as we get even deeper into exploring the rich cultural, natural, and mythological tapestry of the Greek islands. Take a second to subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay involved in our next adventure. What did you guys think of our speedy sail from Poros, huh? Share your thoughts in the comments below and the crew will get back to it. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys!